Hey Coaster friends, Adam here from Pause Games and welcome to another Planet Coaster 2 video. In this one today we're going to have a look at some of your suggestions for features that you would like to see in the brand new Planet Coaster 2 game that's coming later this year. But first a quick reminder, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with all of the latest Planet Coaster and Planet Coaster 2 content here on Pause Games. Right, let's get into the video. So a couple of days ago I asked you guys what you would like to see in the game and you've left me some amazing comments here on the channel so let's go through some of those today. Now firstly a little disclosure, apologies if I mess up anybody's name, I'm not the best at uh, my pronunciation of things so I'll try my best so apologies in advance and also if there are some comments that were posted on the channel or on the videos that I don't get to today I apologise, I can't get through to everybody's but I think I've picked out about 22 comments that we're going to go through today so let's get into it. Right then, so the first comment we've got today is from JSXS Productions and they say I hope they use the enclosure fencing system from Planet Zoo to build fences for ride areas. Um, my hope was always that guests would behave like animals in Planet Zoo where they could roam around anywhere and it would be up to the park designer to set up fencing to keep them out of places where they shouldn't go, like an inverse of animal enclosures. A um, really good idea that actually, so you could use that to set up sort of zones um, like ride areas, um, you could zone for staff and employees. Um, but yeah, really good suggestion. Let's hope it's in the game. Uh, okay, next up we've got that one guy who says, Bro, we need more dinosaurs. Gulpy is the only one. Yeah, he is, I guess. Is he a dinosaur? I suppose he is a dinosaur. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't agree more. And that jumps us on to the next dinosaur-related suggestion from Gideon Green, who says, Imagine a dinosaur DLC with an EMV ride themed like a time machine. So EMV is kind of like your, your dinosaur, Indiana Jones-type dot ride. Um, like a, a motion-based vehicle. Uh, perfect for time travel and adventures through the prehistoric times, as well as a big flume ride themed like a raft. Perfect for dinosaur park tours and even a big water coaster based off the mammoth from Holiday World. Um, yeah, really good idea. So basically trying to recreate um, Dinosaur in Animal Kingdom, um, which is one of my favourite rides, which it will not, probably not be around much longer, which is such a shame. But uh, yeah, great idea, great suggestion. Uh, next up, we've got user WP, blah, 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 blah. Um, loads of suggestions here. So parallel coaster stations with alternating dispatch, separate load and unload platforms. That would be really good. Loads of people are asking for that. Better dark ride in building, uh, better darkness in buildings. Yes, please. Um, switch tracks, dynamic ride ops. So more trains leave um, and the depot as the queue gets longer. Yeah, that would be good. Add a bit of realism. Um, controllable first person mode, I believe we are getting a up updated first person mode so I think that is in there. Um, drop tracks and turntables rumoured to be in the game as well so hopefully. Uh, more options for transport boat, train and monorails, yet again more transport rides would be excellent and better park ops and ride ops style options. Yeah again bit of individuality and give it a little bit of a fresh look, yeah all on board for that one, great ideas. Thrills of Coldplay, I want dragging fences to be a thing badly, me too buddy, so hopefully a bit like what's in Planet Zoo, so fingers crossed it's in the game. Rick says, grass, that is all, give us grass. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, yeah, there's, there's not really grass in the game, is there? There's um, bushes that we pretend is grass, but no, actually, yeah, I, I completely agree with that one. More more options of fauna, flora, whatever the word is, it would be, would be excellent. Tempest says, I know they may not do this, however I would love to do a basic zoo like Bush Gardens and SeaWorld. Also Halloween, love to build a haunted house with all types of animatronics. Both suggestions, excellent. I don't know if they'll do any kind of zoo stuff, given that there's part of obviously Planet Zoo, a different game, and they're probably working on Planet Zoo 2, which I, actually I think they've already announced. Um, but ha Halloween? I completely agree with you. Um, not even just for Halloween attractions, just for walkthrough attractions as in general would be excellent to be uh, to put in this game. Jimmy says, I think my biggest wish would uh, are actual dark rides where the inside of buildings is dark without having to go to night. Incorporating the fence tool from Planet Zoo would be awesome and just overall better scenery pieces and operations management. Uh, a couple of things we've already touched on. I completely agree with you about dark rides. Um, better scenery pieces. Seems like we're going to get quite a lot of new stuff, so fingers crossed it's better. Uh, and operation management. Um, just seem like they have flushed that out a little bit. Um, certainly when you look at Planet Zoo, a lot of the management aspect was evolved that so I feel like some of those things plus new stuff will be coming in Planet Coaster 2. 
D5J. I really want a feature where you can take pictures on a ride and I'm dying for drop and switch tracks and better breakdowns like maybe a launch cable brakes or even rollbacks. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. Um, whether we see anything like that in sandbox, I doubt it. Um, but to sort of add a bit of more realism into the campaign mode, stuff like that would be quite cool um, if, if it'd crop up uh, and just sort of deal with actual real life issues that do happen in parks. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, Jenny Rose says, sometimes I feel like the only one, but since I love management simulator games, I also really want more of that, more focus on guest happiness, and like you said, focus on behind the scenes stuff too. Yeah, again, I think it would be really good to add more management stuff to the game. Um, it gives it is a management simulation after all. Um, so yeah, more stuff would be excellent. Um, behind the scenes stuff, I'd love to, like I mentioned in the previous video, I'd love to see sort of recycling plants, um, distribution centers, better staff rooms, um, stuff like that would be would be excellent. So fingers crossed. Ams zero. <laughs> Do you think we could have the option to have tubes at the beginning of the slide uh, path entrance and guests will have to get one from there to go up? With it, uh, use it on the slide, maybe a tube elevator that takes tubes from the bottom pool and puts them on the elevator all the way to the top. Um, we will have to buy each tube and there's a risk the tubes popping and deflating. Do you think we get these features? Also, do you think we are able to have pool lights? So I'll start with the lights. Yes, I believe they are already in the game, in the screenshots. Um, and for the other stuff, I don't know if we're going to see sort of guests collecting rings as much as that does happen in real life i think what we're probably going to have as, as there are slides that will use tubes and rings and we've seen rings in the screenshots i think they're probably just going to be either up there already and guests just get into them um or we'll see some kind of tube elevator i don't know i mean i'm hoping they make it as realistic as possible but only time will tell Jarmoli brand. Uh, I'd love to see certain flat ride types like the Madhouse, which lend themselves especially well to being uh, themed. I'd love to be given a skeleton of such uh, of a, su a structure, build a room for it, add effects, animatronics, and program the show, sound effects, movement, and seats in the room. I'd love to see flat ride types like that. I completely agree. That would be excellent. Now, if anyone doesn't know, a Madhouse uh, is essentially, um, if you're in the UK, Hex or in Europe, um, Villa Volta. Um, basically, the, the, the ride system, a little bit like a swinging ship um, in the center which you sit in, and then the room itself um, will spin around the opposite direction to give the impression that you are going upside down. So yeah, they would be excellent to play with. Um, in the first game, we did get the sort of Twilight Zone Tower of Terror style ride system. So something like this would be good. So fingers crossed, it'd be in the game. I'd love to play around one of them. Johnny Porter for water parks and pools would love to have seasons like in the fall drain water out rides in the fall and winter close it off uh, spring or summer reopened add water back into the pools that would make this more real life one more like add power to the rides underground or above ground like city skylines would like to see guests come to the park driving cars trucks buses vehicles and then they park up and walk to the gates yeah so a couple of things there so in terms of the sort of seasons, I think we're getting weather. Um, so whether we're also going to get seasons in the game, I don't know. It makes sense. Um, lightning, for example, if that strikes, it would be our responsibility to clear the pools and get everyone out of the water. So that'd be quite interesting to see if that comes. Uh, underground for power. Now, Planet Zoo had power sort of generators and stuff. I think we're going to see the same thing in this one, maybe fleshed out a little bit more. So that I do think is going to happen. And your last point about guests arriving in vehicles, I would love to see that. I never liked the little spawn points where guests just appear. Um, so yeah, something a bit more realistic with, with traffic, bus stops, that sort of thing would be really, really good. So hopefully that is in there. Uh, Nash Wage Makers, pre-show rooms, so simple, room fills, holds people for X amount of seconds, releases them into the queue, building sequences into the room. I completely agree. Pre-shows would be brilliant. A lot of rides these days, even coasters have started adding pre-show rooms for dark rides and the sort of really big budget parks. These would be excellent, and especially utilising screens and animatronics and that sort of thing. And also it just breaks up the queuing. So yeah, these, I really hope these are in the game. That would be brilliant. Michael Green Slade says moving animatronics become parades. I think we might get parades. I would be I'd be surprised if we don't. Now, I think the point comes at well, I guess would be they'd come to the DLC. The point won't be at launch. Um, but yeah, I do think we might see these. Utilising the similar system um, to how adding theme into the coaster trains and the flat rides, um, I think they might just give us like a shell of a parade vehicle and then we can sort of sequence that throughout the park. Um, hopefully, I would love to see it. 
Svendiman says, I wish we could get the coaster type like Fly, uh, Fantasia Land. Uh, I don't know the name. I think it's um, Vacoma, I think. Uh, I know the type mean. It's kind of a side-loading um, flying coaster. It gets really good reviews. So, yeah, hopefully we get more Vi types. I think we will. I think we'll see a lot of the sort of modern stuff. I mean, Planet Coaster launched, what, seven, eight years ago? So I think we'll see a lot of new stuff coming in this new game. Uh, Planet Frontierland says, Hi, I would like to see possible elevators, carnival games and parades. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I, all of all of them I completely agree with. Um, carnival games would be excellent. So sort of like midways. Because again, most parks have these. Even some Disney parks have these. Um, so let people win prizes and you can see them walking around with stuff. Uh, yeah, I really hope that's in the game. Um, and again, parades, yeah. Let's, let's hope it's there. Fingers crossed. 34... Hafim Mohammed says good foliage and nature nice and simple yeah hopefully we get some nice new pieces and I think we will the stuff in Planet Zoo is excellent so fingers crossed we get some of that stuff in this new game Els says something I haven't seen people talk about is the excitement meter it's so based off track and it's not like that at all look at escape from um, Pompeii in any of the Jurassic log or any of the Jurassic log films at Universal they're mostly just scenery and that can really affect a ride excitement but we don't see that in Planco um yeah I mean Planet Coaster 1 kind of had a, a system where it knew how much theme in a ride had and it did kind of choose its popularity based on that but yeah if they could kind of work out excitement on that as well fingers crossed they have um it, from the sounds of the press release and all the stuff they've really uh, they've, they've mentioned and um, they've definitely gonna done a big overhaul of this sort of of the guest aspect so yeah i feel like some of that stuff is probably in there hopefully uh, Austin 97, better fencing tool, parking lots and parking toll booths, double sided station for BM, BM wing coasters, more flowers, midway games, turnstiles, and swinging doors for the entrance and exits of rides instead of the futuristic sliding gate things. Uh, yeah, I agree again with all these. Uh, we've talked about fencing in previous video. Parking lots, toll booths, that'd be excellent, and that links back to what we said before about transport to get in, into parks. Double sided sta stations, just generally, not even just for BMs, would be good for throughputs. Or even like. Um, um, continuous loading stations like you get on some of the modern rides now that'd be good midway games again we've mentioned i would love to see them um and yeah the futuristic sliding gate things um i yeah get rid of them or at least give us some different options we don't need a dude stood at the entrance to every ride with those massive round cylinders so yeah give us some different options or just let us be able to toggle them on and off please and let me build my own Matthew Robertson, I'd like to see more realistic loading of Ferris wheels and similar rides like Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 instead of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and Planko. Yeah, again, any kind of extra realism I'm fully on board with. So, yeah, fingers crossed. And Fire Jojo Boy says, honestly, I'd love it if you could continue um, Planko 1 parks in the sequel, but I heavily doubt it. Yeah, that would be great if you could just sort of migrate over your saves and load them up. Uh, I, I doubt it as well, to be honest, mate, because most of the scenery pieces aren't going to be brought over. Um, it's going to be a slightly different engine, so it's going to be very unlikely. But it would be great if you could just sort of bring everything in and, and add to it. But yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, guys, so they are um, 22 of the comments that I've taken from previous videos and the post I put on the channel the other day. Thank you ever so much for your involvement, guys. Really good suggestions there. And I thought it would just be nice to just collate everything into one video um, because there's some excellent things that I didn't touch on in my video and some other people haven't touched on, and it just gives us a really good indication of what people are wanting for this game. Hopefully we get some more screenshots and information soon. Uh, we've got the demo footage and the gameplay footage coming out in a little over a week now, so that's going to be very exciting. Um, so up until that point, any other information that comes out, I'm going to post it right here on the channel. So please do say subscribe and like the video um, to stay up to date for all of the latest content. Alright guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.